product, we looked at how people use their cars and how people use their phones. And we found that people wanted the connected experiences from the phone in their car. And so you know what they're doing? They're driving like this, right? And you see it every day. It's very, very unsafe. So the main driving force behind this product is to make the experiences from Android extend to the car screen and do it in a way that's purpose-built for driving. We want things to be more safe than using your phone alone. So there's a lot of regulations out there right now, right? That say like, you know, put down your phone, you get a ticket, cops pull you over for it. Tons of people still use their phones. It's very mm -hmm. not effective, right? Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is instead of using a stick to tell people to put down the phones, we want to use a carrot. And that's what we're doing here. We want to make a great experience that's so good that you're going to want to take your phone out, plug it in, and use what's on the screen. Um, so let's plug in a trade experience. So I plug my phone in. The phone and the car are now handshaking. And now we're having the phone generate the UI that you're seeing in the car. Um, I can put the phone down. The phone is now locked out. Mm -hmm. So I can put it in the center console. I, yep, I can put it in the center console. I can hide it. Um, and all the uh, driver appropriate things to do are now on my car screen. Okay. We've replaced what you see in Android phone with a system bar here that shows you activities. And it's the activities that we believe are important to use while you're driving. The drivers told us when we interviewed them. So there's five activities that we have. I'll describe each one. Okay. First one is called the overview. It's what you see when you plug in. It's in the middle. It lets you find out from Google what Google thinks uh, you, you would most want to do next. Okay. So we take things from each of the other four activities that you see in the bottom. So uh, it's anticipating that I might want to go home. So uh, I have a card here that says home. And if I press that card, it's going to launch Google Maps and start navigating home. If I press this, it's going to start playing music and Google Play Music. And it's the song that I, uh, the favorite song of mine, that it knows I kind of like listening to in this context in the car. We also have your last calls. And so I last placed a call to myself. Um, I ran another phone. So that's listed here as well. So okay. I can press that and it would call that person immediately. Again, missed call would be there. We also show you selected notifications from your Android phone. So if you get a text message, you can click it there. You can just click it and it'll uh, read you the text message. You won't show it on the screen. But let's uh, play some music. Do you have any questions? No. Okay, cool. So can play you some music. Activate the text Sorry, I'm doing a, a press interview Sorry. right now. So um, thanks. Um, okay, so I'm launching Google Play Music and starting to play. We have a very bad internet connection here oh, sometimes. No, Sorry about that. I'm not sure about that. Um, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's try that again. We're actually um, on a very bad internet connection over here. Um, I might switch to that. We have actually a Wi-Fi hotspot in the trunk. But okay. It's not on right now. Anyway, we'll try this again. So see how fast that came up and it started playing. That's even with the bad Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi and, uh, and uh, cellular coverage we have in this, uh, in this, in this screen. So Do you have I can, any steering wheel? Um, absolutely. So I'll tell you about that next. So um, if I want to go to the next song, mm -hmm. I can use the same controls that the uh, driver already knows in their car. So I have the track up and track down uh, buttons and the steering wheel. So I'm going to hit track up or track next track, right? And uh, we're going to go to the next track. So here you go, there's the next track. And this is a radio station that Google Play Music made based upon that artist. So it goes around the same theme with that song that I picked. Um, I also have volume controls, obviously. And we also have the voice activation button. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. kind of, so, let's, so what can you do with voice? Anything you can do in talking to Google on your phone, because it is actually your phone. Let's show you something that's really amazing. You can not only kind of control applications, like I can say navigate home, right? But, and it knows what home is, right? Because Google knows what home is for you. Because it's signed into your phone. Mm -hmm. But let's, uh, let's something, try something a little bit more elaborate. Let's go to Monterey. Okay? okay? All right. So we're going to go to Monterey, get out of this convention center. Let's figure out what the weather is in Monterey first. Because sometimes it's going to be What's the weather in Monterey? It's at a 65 percent Monterey service. All right, so let's um, let's next. Uh, uh, you know, I know there's an aquarium in Monterey, but I don't know the name of it. I don't know if it's open today on Thursdays. So why don't we why don't we figure that out? What are the hours of the aquarium? Monterey 
Monterey Bay Aquarium is open until 5 p.m. This almost seems like like big deal, whatever. But it knew that. So it knew that <coughs> we were talking about the Monterey because you because asked I asked weather. it about the weather in Monterey. So it searched for aquariums near Monterey, figured out the name of the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Then it knew I wanted hours. So it told me the hours, so I could have kept my hands on the wheel and looked forward at this dizzying road that we have ahead. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it would have told me the hours. But it also knew that I was in a car, right? So Google didn't only tell me the hours, but it put up a, a card right here on the screen that's floating above a map. And I could, with one tap in a familiar place with a familiar icon, I can start navigating there. But I can also keep my hands on the wheel and use voice even to navigate there and control this application. So let's show you that. Okay. Navigate there. Navigating to Monterey Bay Aquarium. Now, again, the Wi-Fi is a little bit slow here, or the data is a little bit slow, so it's taking it longer than it would if you were actually not on the third floor of a convention center uh, to actually calculate the route. But here you go. It's Head now, toward 4th Street, Northeast on <laughs> Main Street. Now doing a 120-mile navigation to the In Monterey Bay Aquarium. I didn't know the name of the Monterey right Bay Aquarium. Right I didn't Street. know the address. And I just kind of asked it some questions, had a conversation with Google, and it worked. Okay. So uh, that's a Use quick overview. We also have some right really interesting things. Street. Let me just mute this guidance for you. Let's go back to music. We not only have Google Play Music, but we gave the same interface to third-party app developers. And we announced the SDK yesterday and opened it up for anyone. But we worked with 10 um, developers first. By the way, look at this. It's still navigating. Yeah. I muted the guidance, but it put up a heads up notification saying, hey, your next turn is coming up. Okay. So you could just, with a quick glance at the screen, even in your peripheral vision, you know that something's coming up and you can not miss your next turn. Okay. So, you know, a lot of the anxiety people have in the car being able to use these really cool services yet <laughs> not miss their next turn and focus on driving, we've taken care of with this. So let's go and show you some of the other applications. So we've worked with these 10 companies that are using the same APIs and the same interface. So we have everything from iHeartRadio, which gives you 850 radio stations across the United States. We have small uh, companies like Joyride uh, Startups, Joyride and Pocket Cast, um, which are two-person startups that each were able to use the API and in a week come up with applications that do podcasts. So any podcast you can imagine. Is Joyride Podcast as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're both podcasts. So they do a little bit different things. I think Pocket Cast, you have to tell it. Um, uh, which podcast you want to listen to. Joyride kind of selects things based upon your interests. We also have big names like Pandora, uh, Spotify, TuneIn, uh, which also is a ton of radio stations, Songza, which does it uh, based upon your interests. Mm -hmm. But we also have something really cool, which is Major League Baseball. I saw that immediately. Yeah, so, what, so what let's press that and we'll listen to the... There's only, unfortunately, one baseball game going on right now. Okay. It's uh, the Braves and Astros on the East Coast. I'm going to hit play and... Boom, we're listening to a baseball game. Yeah, you have to have a subscription to it. That's right. It's Major League Baseball at that. But if you have a subscription on your phone, it's the same okay. app. Okay. So you can control this with the same car controls. Okay. No. Well, you get harassed this car. Well, I have a bouncer today, so that's good. Um, so that's basically Android, Android Auto in a nutshell. It's coming to over 25 car brands, which we announced uh, yesterday. Uh, first cars are going to be rolling off towards the end of this year. And we think it's going to do a lot to alleviate one of the big problems we have in this country and in the world, which is distracted driving. Any big car names missing from that list? Um, I don't know. You'd have to look. Um, certainly, we're talking with everyone in the industry, okay. but that's who we've announced yesterday. And what are the what are the other four controls then on the bottom there? Oh, sorry. So uh, we have maps, and we're still navigating. So you notice, like, look, I can switch between my baseball game and Google Maps. Oh, that's great. That's navigating, right? We have a phone, and that's the same phone dialer you have on your uh, L phone, the L preview that we announced yesterday. It's the same interface, mm -hmm. so I can make calls from this, and it's very familiar to the user. It has the same speed dial, call history, and missed calls. You can also use Google to control it, so I can say to Google, call Andrew Brenner, and it will actually pick out the name, pick out the phone number, and start calling me. Okay. Um, we don't have a phone call plan, so I don't know if you can use it right now. Uh, this is the overview we talked about, music. And the last one here is car apps. And these aren't active right now. But what these are, you notice it uses the same interface as music apps. Mm -hmm. So when I press this, it will go into a list of apps that we want to work with manufacturers on. So we want manufacturers to be able to have new connections with their customers through this. So things like EV battery life um, or your hybrid system or a vehicle check to make sure your vehicle is functioning well. 
or having roadside assistance plans, which many cars come with, but users, it's very difficult for them to figure out how do I call roadside assistance? Mm -hmm. Boom, I can press this right now. And if the manufacturer had an app on the car, it would communicate with the car using their own private channel. We'd have an Android app, so it could be always updated. And it would give a, an additional enhanced level of safety, security, and, um, and benefit to you as a driver. Cool. So that's some of the innovation we're trying to drive through Android Auto.